And I guess during the war, my father and mother, my father was still working at his mason work, but to help with his income because there was a, six of us and it was a big family. He uh, took over the um, concession at Simcoe Park that had a dance hall and a refreshment booth. And he, uh, they sold hamburgs and hot dogs and we had orchestras on Saturday night play in the, um, in the bandstand. And on Wednesday night they had a jukebox and, and people came and danced. And my dad did that until just after the end of the war. I don't know who took over from that because when we had Hurricane Hazel, um, the top of the water tower blew off and it smashed the dance hall. And so the town never rebuilt that area, so Simcoe Park doesn't have that now. But it was, it was <clears throat> very interesting because it was, they had the same thing in Port Dalhousie, it was called Jitney Dancing, and you paid five cents for a ticket. And you went in and you had, uh, they played two numbers of music, and then you came out again. And the next slot would go in and dance. But before television, like, um, we had to make all our own entertainment, and dancing was one of the things that everybody went to dances. <clears throat> and also, in the in Simcoe Park, they used to have um, a sing songs, but this was more during the war, mm -hmm. and it was to keep people's spirits up. And uh, uh, Charlie Haynes, he 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 was the choir master at St. Andrew's Church, and he used to conduct these sing songs, and it brought people for miles. There used to be cars all over the place, and people either participated singing or they listened to what was going on.